Hello and welcome to the top 10 Netflix TV shows that are obviously on Netflix. For this list, I will be using my personal opinion on what I believe make top 10 shows I believe you should check out. This list is for people who wish to expand their horizons and try shows they've never seen before. Starting off our list at number 10, we have Slasher. Slasher, as the name suggests, is a slasher TV series. More of a whodunit and who's killing the cast and crew. Uh, what's stopping this from being high on the list, honestly, is the second season. I didn't care for that as much as the first one. The first one I was really interested in. I was genuinely curious on the whodunit. So the second one, for me, it just felt like a drag on. Still a good show, and you know maybe you guys will like the second season a lot more than I did. It's still a definite worth checking out. At number nine, we have Dexter. Dexter is a show about a man named Dexter who kills other serial killers. I say other serial killers because he himself is a serial killer, but he's also a cop. Uh, this show is actually really interesting for me. Uh, a few things held it back. I don't want to say what because I feel like that might persuade people away from it. But this was a phenomenal show, and I really liked it. it. kept me hooked. I would binge watch it a few times and just, you know, binge a season or two in a couple of days. Uh, it's a definite worth checking out. Moving on to number eight, we have Limitless, the TV show. Uh, Limitless was pretty good. I enjoyed it. It is about a man who takes a pill and gets to use more parts of his brain. Which makes him smarter. And then he works for the FBI to, you know, catch bad guys. Um, I liked it. I, you know, I I am a fan of these kinds of shows because it was kind of goofy. But, like, kind of serious at the t same time. I thought they did a fairly good job with that. Uh, I am disappointed they never got a second season. But nonetheless, it is still a definite worth that, you know, if you go check it out, you know, you might not be disappointed. Speaking of uh, teaming up with the police, uh, number seven, we have Lucifer. Lucifer is a show about Lucifer Morningstar, the devil, who comes to Earth. While on Earth, he meets a detective who's immune to his powers of revealing their deepest, darkest secrets. This interests him enough to join the police force. I really like this because it, it didn't go how I thought it would. You know, I thought this would be like one of those series where it just takes him forever to like become a semi-decent person, so... It really surprised me. Uh, it, I think it's funny at times, you know, kind of dark humor, but I still think it's worth checking out. The first anime on the list, Seven Deadly Sins, is about a man named Meliodas who meets the Princess Elizabeth. The Princess Elizabeth is looking for his help to help save her father, the king. However, Meliodas and his teammates, the Seven Deadly Sins, are all wanted by the kingdom. What's more is they have to find the other members of the Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, it's a pretty good watch. I recommend it. Uh, but it's not an intro to anime if you haven't started watching anime. I recommend watching a few anime first and then coming back to this one. Ajin Demihuman is another anime on this list, and this is pretty interesting. An Ajin in this anime franchise is a person who can't die. Whenever they die, they are reincarnated in it. And as themselves, and they are thus being hunted by the government. The story follows a young t student who's kind of an outcast who finds he's an audience. I really recommend checking this one out, because this one is really good. The Punisher, this is a Netflix show about the Punisher, the vigilante who kills his enemies. I really like it. I like most of the Marvel's Netflix shows, but this one probably stuck out to me most. Uh, the second season coming out later this week. You know, if you haven't seen it, I recommend recommend watching it. I know personally I'm going to be binging the second season once it comes out on Friday. Uh, whether or not you do, that's entirely up to you. At number three, we have Death Note. Death Note is the anime about Light Yagami, who finds a mysterious notebook called the Death Note, and he, if he writes somebody's name in it, he dies. The entire series is about Light's quest to rid the world of crime while being hunted by the police because he's still killing people. It's really good. I really recommend it. It's really plot-heavy. I'm going to be honest with you. That 70s show is not a show I liked when I was a kid, even when I was younger. I only got into it this past summer. It made me laugh 
so hard. I didn't finish it, and I'm only on season three. I, I took a break to watch other stuff, but it's still a must watch. These top three, in my opinion, are all must watch. So go check this one out. And at number one, we have Castlevania. Castlevania blew my mind when it first aired. I thought the show was amazing back when we only had one season, which only had like four episodes. And I thought it was amazing then. I couldn't wait for the second season. We got the second season, and it blew my mind. And now I can't wait for the third season. I hope that comes out soon. I really don't know if it, when. You know, I hope it's this year. But you never know. Um, I recommend this for a lot of reasons. One, I think the animation's pretty good. Not to mention the, you know, voice actors are there doing a fairly good job. Not fairly good. They're doing a good job. Uh, there's really not that much left to say about this. Go check this out. Check out all the ones on this list. They're so good, and they definitely deserve to be watched. So this was my top ten. I really hope you enjoyed. Please keep in mind, this is just my personal opinion. Uh, and these are just out of the shows that I personally enjoyed. That being said, please, you know, leave a like and subscribe. Helps people find the channel, I think. I think that's how that works. More likes means more people get brought to it. Um... I'm going to be releasing another one, uh, my top 10 movies that are on Netflix, and then I'm thinking about doing a top 10 TV shows on Hulu and a top 10 movies on Hulu. So, with that being said, I will see you guys when these videos get released. Bye.